Hello my Flex Engine friends. Today I'm going to show you how to export easy terrain terrains or landscapes into uh, the Flex Engine. I'm just going to select some uh, textures, not that. Oh, we can just use the same. It's important that uh, yeah we can just try to make something different than this. Um, let's make uh, something let's go outside here just try to remove those and uh, import a high map and we, this time we could try to make a Christmas tree Iceland just import this high map and then we have something that, that you can use the import a high map as a mask we will do that and here we go then it will uh, Polterial generate the landscape using the mask, so we get a different kind of Christmas tree landscapes, like so. That looks uh, pretty interesting, and I'm not going to go into all the details about how you can, uh, how how many things, a lot of stuff you can do inside here, but. Uh, we're just going to make something quick, so you can see the process. Just going to even out an area here. Do, 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 do. So we have something to work with. That's fine. Presley blend the edges a bit, like so. And you have all the normal uh, sculpt features that you can wish, even uh, Fractal generation, even blend, paint, different brushes, or even custom brushes. You can just l make a little hard here to try it. Let's make it a bit larger. And let's just try that. And we get a heart. As simple as that. You can even. Uh, or if you wish to go down with it, you can sculpt it down, so we get art here. And you can use uh, all types of high maps and uh, custom brushes and whatever you like to sculpt. But uh, let's just make a quick pass. Let's set, uh, oh, let's change this a bit, because in Flex Engine you have a Splat Map 1 and a 2. So when we export, this is the first four colors, and this is the rest of the colors. So uh, for now we're only going to use Splash Mat 1. So let's change this a bit. We're going to use this texture as, as a pass. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. So let's try to make a pass here or the road or whatever you would like to call it, you can make road. Oh, that's not, don't look very good. Just need to even out here, like so. We can try to make two different types of uh, passes. Here we will just draw with this background. And what you do is just draw where you like the path to go. You can make it go inside here and uh, out here, like so. You can smooth it so all the splines get smoothed out. And you get more rounded corners. And uh, then just create it. And you have a path. You can walk. Or your player can walk. So it's uh, that easy to make a pass. I will just uh, blend it a bit here in the ends, like that. So we have a perfect transition. Then let's make a uh, road. We just create a new pass here. Start to draw our pass. Let's see, we like it to end here. It goes. And we like it to go around the heart on our Christmas Iceland. Like so. 
smooth it, select the texture we like to use, and set the, how wide we want it, perhaps 400, and create it. And there we have it. A road, or path, or whatever you like to call it. I'll just smoothen it a bit, like this, and create it again. So we don't have that corner out here. So it gets flat. Well, it even, it even has a road generator, Porosra road generator, where you can uh, generate a road. Oops. And uh, also use that, if you like. I can show that in another video, how you can uh, import that. It will also fit perfectly when you get it into the Flex engine. So, we have a custom terrain and a pass and a road. I'm not going to disable that. So, so let's just uh, export this to the Flex engine and see how that looks. So, we go to train, uh, we don't need those now, and export, we select the resolution we like, we can make uh, the high map, the HDR high map, 4K, like this, make a folder, folder, flex, test, oh dear, hide map, Take a second to generate. It's 4K. So then we generate the splash map. Call it splash map one. Like that. And then uh, we can try to import this into the Flex engine. I'll just close this down. Well, you should save this so you can uh, load it back in later, so you can work, continue working on your terrain. But let's just jump into flags. Flags tests. Dupes and import our new generated splash map and high map. Splash map, it needs to be RGBA because the alpha is also used. And HDR is the uh, correct setting. So we just import those two. Like so. And then uh, let's try to create a terrain. Scene, create terrain. I will select a uh, high resolution terrain. I already made this material with the textures, but uh, if you like a video about how to do that, you just let me know. Let me just drag in the high map and the splash map. Just scale it down because uh, it's a really huge one. So it would take me forever to get the camera out where we want to see the details. You can see just like, yeah, even if it's scaled down this spot, well, it takes some time to fly out here. Oh, there it was. Our heart and our pass and uh, our road or whatever would call it. And there you have it. A perfect road. Well, it could also be the mesh road if you like that and the path you can walk. So that's how easy it is to get it in. Now you just need to create a, a water plane and add it so it fits and you got a uh, perfect terrain. Well, um, that's it for now, and uh, until next time, have a great day.